So I thought I'd share this morning some words of Marcus Borg from his book, The Heart of Christianity, where he addresses directly the question of why be Christian? So he says, so why be Christian? Here I offer my own reasons, my own testimony. I suspect is shared by many. The first is the importance of being part of a religious community and the tradition of practice. This is really a set of reasons that would also be motives for being deeply involved in any of the enduring religions. Though one can be in relationship with God apart from participation in community and tradition, community and tradition matter. They mediate and nourish the relationship. We need a path. We are lost without one. Community and tradition articulate, embody, and nurture a path. They provide practical means of undertaking the path, not as a requirement for entering into the next world, but as a path of reconnection and transformation in this life. Religious community and tradition put us in touch with the wisdom and beauty of the past. Their communities of memory. There is value in being in touch with the past. Not only does it contain wisdom, but it can deliver us from the provinciality of the present, our limited way of seeing that we seldom recognize as a form of blindness. There is much to be said for being a part of a tradition centuries old rather than one made up yesterday. And although the traditions have their monsters and have at times been distorted in brutal directions, they have also incubated lives remarkably filled with compassion, courage, and joy. The saints of the traditions are the most remarkable people who have ever lived. The vision of life articulated by the traditions is both appealing and important, not only for us as individuals, but for us as sharing the earth. All of these are among my reasons for being Christian, even though they are not reasons for specifically being Christian. Rather, they are reason, reasons for being religious, for being part of a community of memory and practice. It is important to be part of a tradition and to live more deeply into the life that it mediates. When a Christian seeker asked the Dalai Lama whether she should become a Buddhist, his response was, which I paraphrase, no, become more deeply Christian. Live, live more deeply in your own tradition. Houston Smith makes the same point with the metaphor of digging a well. If what you're looking for is water, better to dig one well 60 feet deep than to dig six, well, six wells 10 feet deep. By living more deeply in our own tradition as a sacrament of the sacred, we become more centered in, one, in the one to whom tradition points and in whom we live and move and have our being. A Christian is one who does this within the framework of the Christian tradition, just as a Jew is one who does it within the framework of the Jewish tradition, a Muslim within the framework of the Muslim tradition, and so forth. And I cannot believe that God cares which of these we are. All are paths of relationship and transformation. So, why be Christian? In my case, for all, the, all of the above reasons and more, the Christian tradition is familiar. It is home for me. I was born into it. I grew up in it. Its stories, language, music, and ethos are familiar. It nurtured me, even as I've had to unlearn some of what I was taught. In adulthood, I have grown to appreciate its extraordinary richness, its antiquity, and wisdom. The beauty of its language and music and forms of worship, its passion for compassion and justice, and the sheer goodness of its most remarkable lives. Its worship nourishes me. Its hymns move me. Its scripture and theology engage my imagination and thought. Its practices shape me. For me, it mediates the good, the true, and the beautiful. And through all of these, it mediates the sacred. It is for me a sacrament of the sacred.
and it is home. It's familiar to me in a way that no religion could ever become. I know that other religions could have been home for me had I been born a Buddhist or a Muslim or a Jew, for example, and I'm quite sure I would still be one. And I'm aware that some who grew up Christian were so abused by the experience that Christianity could never seem like home, except as a home in which one needs to escape. For them, being, for them, another way of being religious may be necessary. But for me, Christianity is home, like no other tradition could be. For me, the ethos of Christianity, its vision and way of life, its scripture, worship, language, music, thought, vision, and so forth, is home. Thus saith Marcus Bork. <laughs> Praise be upon him. <laughs>